2010 can be an exciting year for you, Capricorn. Don't let it go up in smoke. There are exciting energy changes coming your way. Here is how to use them to your advantage. We now come to the Capricorn overlay, Capricorn Sun or rising or ascending sign. And we find that Jupiter and Uranus are in the fourth house, and this is the house of basic emotional foundations. And you may find that there is a sense of liberation from maybe some past fears or restrictions. Uh, or you could find that your whole basic emotional foundation uh, undergoes a big shakeup. So you're going to have to be a little careful with this type of energy here. Now, since Saturn, uh, which is the ruling planet of Capricorn, is in the 10th house of career, you're going to have to balance off career responsibilities and home and family responsibilities. Uh, otherwise, you might cause some friction uh, at home or friction in the career. The T, the end of the T is Pluto. It is in the first house, which should bring a great deal of vital energy to you, and this should help you destroy any personal fears and uh, limits to your expression. Uh, what you need to do, however, with Pluto in the first house is control the force of your expression. Give it depth, give it purpose, but do not allow it to bully others. So mystery here brings power. Obviously, this is a simple and concise interpretation of future trends. You can order a 40 to 50 page personal transit for your year to come at ProfessorAstrology.com. Or you can learn how to make predictions with my four-hour DVD set. And finally, you can sign up for free 12 best days of 2010, which are sent out once a month. May you have peace, health, joy, and prosperity in the coming year.